Hello everybody, what's up guys, my name is Jobo63 and welcome back to California and in this video we are going to be discussing all the features about update 4 so in the last video we were discussing the features of the paid DLC and yes we have the Elasmosaurus, we have the Her uh, Herrerasaurus, the, uh, the Australovenator, I uh, kind of forgot what they were called there, we have the Barbarodactylus right here, and we somewhere we also have the Glowing, no you're not glowing, you're not glowing, you're not glowing, but you, no you're not, you are the glowy Stixosaurus. Beautiful, I, I think. Absolutely beautiful. But these are the features, that was the features in, in the, uh, in the paid DLC. So if you haven't already got it and you want to know how much it is, in Britain it is £5.99. You are drinking air right now. Are you? Are you serious? Uh, you need some texture updates, don't you, buddy? But anyway, as I was saying, uh, for you to get paid, it's five pound ninety-nine in Britain, seven dollars ninety-nine in the USA, and in the Europe Union, seven euros ninety-nine. But anyway, we will be discussing the features in Update 4, like I've already said, and last video, I tried so much not to touch decorations, but now we can. So we're gonna start with the Lagoon customization. If we, if we can, if we go to there, we have, we have some new decorations, which look right. So we ha now have some Jurassic Park, Banners, so just pop that down. Would help if they were in the same. Hey! Would help if they were in the same. Obviously not. Uh, no. Uh, did I, uh, so we have some brand new banners right here. So we have the Jurassic Park banner. We have two of them. We have the Jurassic Park in words, and we have this really cool one, is world. And as I was in capture mode, you saw you could you've got postcard, stamp, film logo, letterbox, filter and guidelines. So letterbox, film logo, and stamp postcard. I oh, knew, so I'm just gonna get. Uh, uh, I'm just going to speed uh, up a bit. How do you speed up? You go to shift, and I'm just going to pause it right there. Actually, uh, what well, we we'll, we will be looking at the sandbox setter, but while while I'm here, I'm just gonna set it so it's day. Apply. Okay, okay, boom. Oh, I'm back over here. Okay. Uh, so, you know what? I think Barbarodactylus is more exciting than the Alamosaurus. As much as I love the Alamosaurus, I think this shot right here looks very cool. So we have some postcards. So let's start with the postcards, so none, and then our first postcard is the uh, DF. W Fish and Wildlife Department of the Interior sign here, which looks very cool. And then we've got this outline with no wording, which is cool as well. I went up by accident when I really want to go down. And then we also have the Jurassic Park thing, which looks very cool as a postcard send this to you now and then we have greetings from Jurassic World and then another greeting oh no no stupid boy then we have greetings from Jurassic 
park, which is very cool as well, just getting a good angle. And then we have take a trip to Jurassic World, and then I think that's it, yes. Then we have a stamp, so we, uh, in the corner you can see the stamp from Jurassic, then we have postal service, we have Nublar, more Nublar, and then we have none, which is very cool. And then, of course, we have the logos. I think we already had it, but we've now got Jurassic World, Cancretaceous, and Jurassic World Dominion, which looks very, very nice, as you can see here. I do love the Fallen Kingdom one. Very good. Then we have the letterbox, so we've got some frames. What's the letterbox here? And then obviously we have the same guidelines and filters of that. But very, very cool. If I knew how to screenshot and for it to be added to my gallery, that would be very cool. But actually, I've just remembered how to. So if I go into capture mode, no. How did I go up again? No. I don't know how to control. I'm not in capture mode normally. And then I just want to. Oh, that's a nice one. Jurassic World. Take a trip to Jurassic World. So we're going to capture that there. Then I think. And also capture it here. Have I captured it? I think I have. See my captures. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can see it on my screen. It's loading up. No, I haven't captured it. No, I haven't captured it. Uh, not now. I, I want to capture. Did I capture it? See my captures? I didn't capture it. I want to capture it though. What does it say? Just take it. Now it does that. And then it said I didn't have any of those. Uh, I'll do it later. I can't be bothered to do it on screen right now. But anyway, that's the cool features. But back to the decorations, because I got completely distracted here. Where did where did I put my flags? Where did I put my flaggies? Where did I put my flaggies? I've lost where I put my flaggies. That's very bad. Over here. Here we are. So if we go back into decorations, uh, we have the same trees and the same things. We have the same things over here. Have oh, there's some new things over here. This is new. Classic toilet in Jurassic Park. This is new, even though it's a bit glitchy with those black bits, but that's new and cool. I think everything else is the same, but this is where it goes look at these we have some new lagoon stuff so let's so we have lagoon cages it's like that's for the mosasaurus right there and then we have lagoon lights we have a bunch of lights and as we, we will see later, we can change the colour of the lights. Then we have some rocks. It's very cool. Some more rocks. And I like how it changes to the terrain. Terrain, so look, if I go over there, you can see it altering itself. Very good. We've got a lot of lagoon rocks, but then we have a boat, which I really like idea of I'm not sure why but I really like the idea of boats oh, that's a nice boat we only have two boats but that's I really like this one 
then we have a thermal vent. I have no idea what this thermal vent, vent is. Oh, okay. It's got a load of bubbles, like a mini volcano. Oh, I love the fish. Oh no, they're bubbles, not fish. Oh, I'm stupid. Then we have another thermal bell for the vent. That's really good. And then we have some coral. This is what I've wanted. Coral, look at this beautiful coral. And I think there's loads of bubbles. And I think the fish do swim with them as well. But that's really cool. And then the thing that I'm most excited for, the Indominus Rex skeleton. Just look at that, bad boy from Fallen Kingdom. No, 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 no. Screenshot it, but yes, I do love it. And then th it, it, the and there's also some things to go on the side of the sides of the lagoon. So we have some lagoon sails. Oh, you don't want to go there. Obstructed. No, you can go there. And then we have lagoon fountains, which I really wish. Do they? They do fall into the lagoons. Oh, I didn't think they did. Oh, that's so better. Cool. That's so much better. And then we have lagoon. I I thought I thought this was kelp, but no, they're lagoon planters. And then we have some more planters. Very nice on the Then we have some mosasaurus sails. We have lagoon banner classic 01. Why are you obstructed? What are you obstructed from? We have the Lagoon Banners Classic. Oh, we've got that there, and then we have some more Lagoon Pit. Lagoon Pit Classic. So we've got all, like, we've got planters, then we've got fountains, we've got some flags to go on there, we've got pillars we've got even more flags over here it's really cool of the decoration now and the the decoration that we've really been looking forward to is lights so all the lights are now in here and we have some lagoon lights as well in here and we have we have some things that we can light as well but i think we've already placed them down just we can change the colour of the lights. So we'll just place, I think we've placed these down as well. But if we can go to here, so some decorations, yes. And then like, if we change it to blue, oh, look at that. It uh, all beside it changes to blue. Oh, that's beautiful. I need to turn it. Oh, it's night for you. Oh, that's very good. And then we could turn. Ooh, yes. Turn that to blue. Um, from that, that to that. Look. Oh, man. I love it. I love how it turns to blue. Can we know? But we can't change that. Oh, that's amazing absolutely amazing what about these flags we can't change the color of these flags if we come back it's like broad daylight but there's still blue in it that's beautiful and then i'm just gonna pop down oh these are new these are new lights that's cool just gonna pop down the things quickly that we can add in boom 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 oh you can change the colours to that apparently you can 
they fly to us. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, but they're at different angles of the pterodon. And we got the mesosaurus, and if we go here, it turns dark. They're all blue, but then we could change them to like a red. That's more reddish colour, but we could change it. To, come on, change red. Light red, but we can go blue for blue. Uh, what are you? Are you blue or are you green? I can't tell anymore. You're green, so green for green. But we could change the colours which look very, very cool indeed. So this is a very good feature that I think I really, 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 really like. So that's really cool that they've added that as that in now we've got sandbox settings and now they're just much easier to find so anything involving dinosaurs is here anything involving of gameplay is here anything involving park is up here and anything in involving environment is over here which is very very good now another thing that has changed is if we go to Herodon, which is right here, and if we go to modify geome, and if we go to Peridon 2000, and what now? We uh, before this update four, we did a size scale for Pterodon four, uh, for Pterodon 2001, and Pterodon, uh, t t and the Pterodon that Jurassic World there and come in and the 2001 was tiny against the normal pterodon uh, like honestly i'll try and do uh, i'll try and show a screen comparison comparison for them but we're just gonna try and comparison them because apparently this now is a bit bigger than before already it's a bit bigger Nice, we'll just speed it up again. Come on, out you come. Come on, do size comparison. It's kind of warm, get a bit closer. Phew. Yeah, you're splitting up now. There! We can kind of debate on this. I don't know really. Oh no, that's a Barbarodactylus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it's still very tiny. Where is? Where is the. Where is it? Oh, oh they're right. They're right next to each other. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a Barbarodactylus. Is it? Oh no, one's down there. We are. Uh, they kind of look the same. I don't know because I I didn't realise how small because I didn't have a mix of JP3 pterodons with normal pterodons, so I didn't really realise. But that's another thing. The feeders need resupplying. They shouldn't need res resupplying. What? They shouldn't really. <laughs> Gotta make a ranger team now. But anyway, there are some behavior differences, but I can already tell that this video is going on for far too long. So, I believe that we should just, I believe that we that's going to be for another video um for it they just cross that they just, we don't need invisible gates they just look look that i bet they don't come out of there no look over right straight over there that's really annoying 
Anyway, guys, this is some of the features that come with the free update for. Uh, we will be doing the behavior differences in another video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jovis63, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.